Hi, I'm Rick Bentley, CEO and co-founder of Clouder Structure. We do access control, that's where you swipe your badge and the door opens, and video surveillance together in a cloud model, and we're adding AI to it. So existing systems are insecure. Um, who remembers the target data breach? They had a, a nine-figure payout in total cost because they put a web server in front of their HVAC system. Every access control system, every video, video surveillance system is a web server being run on premise. IT hates it. They're also network insecure. Is this going to play? Let's see. If you go to our website, you'll see me actually. Uh, who carries a badge to badge in some place? Right. So with the thing I have in my bag, I can just scan it because we just sat next to each other, and I can badge in as you tonight and take all the monitors if I want. Um, the video is on our website if you want to see it. But if you look at the IT server closet, it's emptying out. There's a bunch of machines that aren't there anymore. There used to be a file server. It's now a box or Dropbox, or it used to be an email server. It's now Gmail or Outlook 365. Go down the list. Everyone's made a billion dollars, and there's two servers left in every building. It's access control and video surveillance. We move them to the cloud, too. And once it's in the cloud, we still have a small on-premise footprint. Uh, but once it's in the cloud, we can do a lot of really neat things. We can um, search by tag, animal, vehicle, person. Um, Every time you badge in, we see your face. Badge in, see your face. You go from glasses to contacts, we shave your beard. We're keeping up with a recognizer so we know what you look like. We say, hey, where's this guy? We'll see all the video that you're in. Uh, we can do multi-factors. Make sure your face matches your badge. Uh, the people at the front desk of every building are doing two things. Face matches badge, and one badge swipe, one person came in. We can do that all in the cloud automatically. Not just the front lobby, the back door, the side door, every door off the elevator, on every floor, the, uh, the document room, the IT closets. Uh, we all say, hey, if you just badged in in China, but your phone's in New York, something's going on, right? Or if you just badged in in China and you're badging in New York less than eight hours later, something else is going on, right? So we're able to uh, uh, detect things that way. Uh, we, get, we unlock a lot of revenue. We add on the AI because we're displacing humans. Um, if you think of it as dumb versus smart and consumer versus enterprise, we're taking the stuff you expect from Facebook and Google and Apple who are tagging your photos and everything else and moving that to the enterprise quadrant. We're doing about 10K a month of recurring revenue. Our churn is very low. We've got Lighthouse accounts, and um, we're raising capital right now. Um, the last company I started was bought by Uber. I've raised money from uh, SoftBank and W.I. Harper, advisor to Google X, direct report to Andy Grove, my co-founder, uh, has uh, the last company he sold to Facebook. Um, we've raised 1.2. We've got an open listing on AngelList right now, actually. It's uh, mostly done, and uh, you're welcome to participate. Just send me an email, I'll send you a link. Hi, Rick, right on time. What's the cost for this uh, like advanced version versus uh, the traditional uh, badge, physical badge? Yeah, we, our tr pricing is very simple. We put it on our website, unlike all the other security companies or our customers like that. We charge $1.99 per year per door, $2.49 per year per camera. And the advanced features, um, we're finding a lot of price elasticities. We're still finding out the final pricing for that. Uh, no, uh, the, uh, so per door, $1.99 per year per camera, 249 per year. But the advanced features, we're finding that we can charge a lot more than 199 than 249 So we're not done raising the prices yet for the advanced features. Because once you're displacing the humans who are sitting in the lobby, when you go into the lobby of a big building, you badge in and someone goes, Asian lady. Just the, your picture comes up, and that's all they're doing. It could be, you could trade badges with half the people in here, and you could badge in as each other all day long. You and I couldn't trade badges, right? They're doing a very gross face recognition, right? I badged in at CNN headquarters as a pregnant woman as for a demo. And the security was like, wait, what's going on? <laughs> right? But um, so uh, that sort of feature, and they're also making sure when you badge in, only one person comes in. Right? But that's two guards, three eight hour shifts per day, seven days per week to watch one door. Right? So our pricing is very low when compared to having humans involved. Right? So we find there's a lot of elasticity on the pricing, but we don't know exactly how high we can go yet. So my understanding of uh, installing the traditional badge, electronic, you know, the physical badge, is like 15,000 per door. Oh, to get it installed. To yeah, get yeah. It installed. Yeah, yeah, so if you go to like the Intel headquarters or Google, if they have a double door, maybe glass with a mag lock at the top, it will cost about that just to install the door. So we don't do the door electrification part. That door has already been electrified. Do you put nests in your house? But you know the idea, you go, you, there's a piece of plastic from Honeywell, 
you throw it out, there's some wires there, uh, you hook the wires up to the nest, you get the nest online, you're done, right? We're the same thing, you go to the IT closet, there's a bunch of stuff from Honeywell, you throw it out, there's a bunch of wires there, you hook the wires up to us, you plug in the Ethernet cable, and now we, well, now we control that door. And uh, because there are companies who are dominating this market, mm -hmm. uh, your, your advantage is the image recognition syncing with the batch? Or what, what's exactly your, your specific advantage? Yeah, so there's two parts. One we put in the cloud, and once it's there, then we can do things like face recognition and other, and other things that you wouldn't want to do on premise. And those incumbents, uh, Tyco, Linnell, uh, Bosch, Siemens, um, uh, they, they don't spend money on R&D. Their R&D department is their M&A department. So they wait for companies like us to take off, and then they take us out. 